so let's learn how to show that a family of distributions um, is an exponential family. So if you look here, this is the definition of an exponential family. So a distribution is an exponential family if the uh, PDF or the PMF is able to be written in this form here. So what we have is a, it's got to be written as a function of x times a function of the parameters, which we'll call theta. Um, and so note that theta here can be more than one number. So think of theta as a vector. Um, and then times um, an exponential, where inside the exponential is a sum of terms from 1 to k, um, which are a function of the parameters times a function of x. So for example, um, if we set k is equal to 2, our uh, PDF or PMF would look something like this. It would be a function of x times a function of theta times e to the w1 theta t1 of x plus w2 of theta t2 of x. And so we're allowed to have as many terms as we want in this sum here. Um, and it will still be an exponential family. So now that we know the definition, let's try an example here. So we're going to show that the gamma di distribution is um, a member of the exponential family. Um, so if we look here, this is the PDF for the gamma distribution. And so the x is allowed to range from 0 to infinity. And the two parameters, alpha and beta, must be positive. So our goal is to get it into the form on the previous page. So the first thing we note is that this term here is already a function of the parameters alpha and beta. So we're going to say for right now that this here is our C of theta. Okay, but now the problem is that this term here, it's mixed with our x value and our parameter values. So we need to be able to write h of x by itself without having them being uh, mixed mixed together. So we're going to do a trick. And the trick is based off of this. If you take e, let me change colors here. If you take e to the log of a, that's just the same thing as a. So what this means is that we're able to take the exponential of something, um, sorry, the differential of the log of something um, without actually changing um, what that thing is. So we're going to apply that trick here. So we're going to do that to this term here, x to the a minus 1. So, so we're going to write that as the exponential um, of the log x to the a minus 1. And we see that that's actually just by the um, by some log rules. But that's just the same thing as the exponential of a minus 1 log of x. And then if we combine that, so we're, we're multiplying that with our exponential of minus x over b, we can just rewrite those two things as the exponential of a minus 1 ln of x minus x over beta. 
And so this is almost in the form that we want. So remember that we want the product of a parameter term and X term, and we want to have a sum of those. So actually, if we just switch this around a little bit, we can get into, into the form that we want. So I'm gonna write this up here. So um, if you look, we can write this. So the first part stays the same. And we're just gonna put a plus here, plus minus one over beta times x. And these are the same thing. And so the reason we're doing this is so now we have a parameter term times an x term plus a parameter term times an x term here. And so if we do this um, on the next page, this is the final form of the answer. Um, and the only thing new here is that we didn't really have an h of x out front, but we're able to solve that problem by just making an indicator variable um, and this is just a different way of specifying um, that x must be greater than, um, than zero here. Um, so now we see that we have all the parts. So we have a function of x times a function of the parameters times the exponential of a parameter function times an x function plus a parameter function times an x function. So, um, but by doing this, we've shown that the gamma function um, is an exponential family.